Recently I was trying to install VMware Workstation or VMware Player in my Fedora machine. I have faced some problem like it was complaining about the headers. You can see this screenshot. It was the exact problem I was facing. It was complaining me about kernel headers mismatch. Before you can run VMware, several modules must be compiled and loaded into running kernel, right? So I was trying to do so many research and it was it was not working. Finally, I have found a way how to get rid of this problem. So while trying to install VMware player, you have to install some dependencies like this one. Here you can see they will say that install kernel headers, kernel, kernel devel, GCC and Mac and group install development tools and this kind of then DNF then reboot. So this kind of instruction are given in online whenever you try to see it but after doing all the stuff suddenly this problem will occur it will say that kernel header mismatch or this kind of information will be shown while you are trying to start VMware player. So what is its solution? It's very simple. I will show you the steps. First see these lines. So this is from my current installation. I am grabbing that kernel RPM. RPM minus QA pipeline grab kernel. You see this the value of modules and kernel header is not the same. You can see module was 5.37 and our complaint was directly same kernel header 5.37 not found but we can see kernel header 3.8.8 is installed here so this because this is not matching with kernel module that's why this problem is problem was giving so what i have done i have to i have recently installed this kernel header and other stuff that was newly it is uploaded and to the new to the latest version but previously installed kernel is not in the latest version so i have to update you have to update kernel to match the kernel header version simply update yum update minus y kernel and then try to start your vmware player then you will see this kind of section other complaints will go simply click on install then it will ask for the authentication then it will start installation just press I accept then again you have to click on I accept then they will ask whether you like to check for updates and then whether you will like to join the CEIP program then it will ask for the password license only if you if you want to use it for commercial purpose and use it for non-commercial purpose then again it will ask for authentication and finally it will start it is very simple so try to update kernel and then try to reinitialize VMware player. It will start. So do comment below if you have still some problem. I will help you out. And do not forget to subscribe. Thanks.